Hi golfers, Nick here for Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on Golf Tips, we're going to discuss the Masters which happened last week and what links the best players in the world. So when you take a look at the Masters last week, and this is the same for every tournament that you watch on TV, the best players in the world, they all have this one thing in common. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what that thing is and then give you guys a little drill to work on to help you improve your golf. So that's pretty much my standard shot. And we're gonna to talk today about what I do in my golf swing and what the best players in the world do. So when you take a look at that shot there, you can see it's a pretty much tight little draw. I'd expect that in the stack and tilt golf swing and there's a reason why I'd expect that. You can see my swing path there, four degrees into out. The reason you would expect a draw is because of the ball position of my stance. So when I set up here, the ball is positioned behind my left shoulder on the grid. Now, when you take a look at the best players in the world, when you watch them last week at the Masters and every other week on tour, and the best players in the world, when they hit this golf ball, their club will hit the ground in front of the golf ball. So on this grid system here, if I place the ball about a club head behind my left shoulder, which is represented by this T-claw here, my club should hit that point on the ground where my left shoulder is. And that's what the best players do. So what links them all? Because when you take a look at the best golfers, you see them last week on TV and every week on tour, what links them all? So when they swing, they're able to strike the ground precisely in the same spot. So they must be doing something collectively that enables them to do that. So in their swing, what are they doing that makes them be so precise with their contacts and hit the ball the same each time? When you see the best players in the world, they may hit shots offline, uh, but generally their distance control is really good and their contact is really good. So they're hitting the ball pretty much the same each time. When you take a look at the best golfers, they all have slightly different swings. Some have different tempos, some have different positions in their swing. Some go higher, some go lower. Some draw the golf ball, some fade the golf ball, but what links them all? What do they all do the same? Well, the answer is in how they move their body. When I take my backswing here, what you'll notice is my left shoulder is lower than my right. So that's me tilting my shoulders. And every golfer tilts, every golfer, or every good golfer that's any good, that's for sure anyway. When you take a look at your best golfers in your club, the best golfers on TV, they all tilt. Not only in the backswing, but also into the finish. This tilting enables them to swing the club up, if I didn't tilt, I'd be tending to swing the club more around my body. It also enables me to strike the ground as I come through. So I tilt my right shoulder down as I, as I hit through. So my back swing, my left shoulder tilts down, and then as I go through, my right shoulder tilts down. So how much do they tilt? Well, the answer is really somewhere between 30 and 40 degrees in their back swing, and somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees by the time they get to right on parallel to the right. So in the back swing it would be to the left and into the follow through it would be down to the right. When you take a look at the highest handicapper golfers when they swing they tend to turn their shoulders more level to the ground and that makes it very difficult to strike the ball consistently. So when you take a look from my swing from both camera angles here if I don't tilt my shoulders then you'll see how my head moves and generally makes it hard to hit the golf ball like that. I tried to hit that by the way. I tried to not tilt and try to hit the ball there and you could see, I um, thought I'd hit it but I didn't that time. So by tilting more, it makes it much easier to strike the ground. So let me do my normal swing, get that one out of the system. So as I swing back, tilt down. As I go through, tilt to the right. So you can see here, by doing that, it's helping me keep quite centered with my golf swing. Um, and helps me keep my head on the same position. Like too many golfers sway their body, move their head around. It just makes it so hard to control where the club hits the ground. So the best golfers, week in, week out, they tilt their shoulders. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a great way that I teach my newer golfers or golfers that don't tilt enough in their golf swing, how to tilt and how to feel this in the golf swing. So if you place a club across your chest, as you swing back, 
the left shoulder should move on an angle. You can see this from both camera angles here. My left shoulder is moving down and inwards. And by the time I get to the top of my backswing, you see how my club points down towards the ball. So I do this on my normal stance. If I didn't tilt, this club would be more horizontal to the ground. That's me turning and not tilting. So it should look like this. Then as I come down from the top of my backswing, when you look at this from the face on camera, by the time I get down to this stage in the downswing, you see how my shoulders are leveling out. And by the time I hit the ball, my right shoulder would be low on my left. So I go from a left tilt in the backswing to a right tilt at impact. And that tilt continues to increase as I swing through at the beginning of my follow through. Now, when I do this, I'm also moving my lower body forward and extending my leg. So if you grab a club, put it across your shoulders, try and get this feeling. You can see from both camera angles here, my leg movement and my shoulder movement. This is a really good way to practice your tilting in the golf swing. If you can tilt more, you should be able to hit the ground more consistently in the same spot. Just to finish up here, guys, I'm gonna leave you with a quote from my mentor and the stack and tilt guru, Andy Plummer. Some guys hit the ball left to right, some guys hit the ball right to left, some hit it high, some hit it low, but everybody tilts. So thanks for that, Andy. He's, this guy, the genius, uh, he knows everybody tilts and it just highlights it there. Now, we do get a lot of questions and Andy was actually coaching a player last week in the Masters and that's why he's one of the best coaches in the world. He's a big influence on me and a number of instructors around the world. And it's simple guys, everyone tilts. So work on that drill. It's gonna help you be more consistent and strike the ground in the same spot, which is what the best players do. So thanks for watching. If you wanna find out a little bit more about the Stack and Tilt Golf Swing, check out this playlist and I'll see you again next week for another video.